like a rapt among the rocks. Congratulations, customer. Your SAM unit is performing at peak capacity. Hey, I know you. Boss says you've been real helpful, like. But, uh, we got this handled. We appreciate, but do not require your assistance. That's my nice way of telling you to saw it off. Huh. I don't know what your angle is, but... All right. Be sure to tell her how hard it was to fix the generator. You know, after you're done fixing it. Get it off! Get it off! This is 
is bad. What's up? Some nimble fingers, Captain. Owner not found. So easy. sail to you lot, but even if he hadn't, I'm not risking my neck anymore. I don't know how you got those goons to leave, but thank you. Graham ordered rollers and what's-its, right? For a printing press? Here, take them. Like I said, this is my last run. Law help them. I don't know. Maybe Sublight can lend a hand. I should go. Look, Graham's got a bit or two left in his account. I can send one last dropout before I wash my hands of this. What do you want delivered? I always took that woman for the sensible type. Good on her. I'll send some along. Give them all my regards. And good luck out there. Don't go getting eaten. Go on. I need to get moving. Go on. I need to get moving.
I ought to mention, the Iconoclasts are loyal folk. Treat them right, they'll do the same. Turn on them, they'll open fire without a second thought. Sam, making blood stained clean again. I'm telling you, the Van Noys are fine. Bullshit, Graham. They don't just abandon orders, and they weren't at the ruins. Where in this sulfur-sodden hellhole did you send them? They're on a very important... Ah, we'll continue this later. Welcome back, Captain. They're hunters. Badass ones at that. Hope they're all right. They're our best unit, and now they're missing in action. And we'll continue that discussion later. Thank the Eternal that someone's got some sense in their head. Carlotta usually schedules the next drop during the meeting. When's she coming? The board must have gotten a hold of him at last. This cuts off one of our only two supply lines on Monarch. Sanjar, old friend, you're about to cross a dangerous line. About to? That idiot just declared war. I... we will deal with his subversion later. For now, we must redouble our efforts to spread the truth to the colony. Might I ask why? Ah. Hiram, old friend. I must admit, I feel guilty for crippling his enterprise. He too works against the corporations. So be it. If we can bring the printing press to its full functionality, then I'll have no use for that rust bucket of a radio tower. The print... Oh no. Graham, you didn't. I've already sent a team ahead to scout the press. One of our best. Meet them there, and find out if they've been successful. You sent the Van Noys there, didn't you? Oh, for fuck's sake, Graham! We needed them in the ruins! Our people died out there! They went willing to fight for our cause. We need reinforcements. We need new recruits. The Van Noys saw the printing facility with the same importance as I. The hell's the sense in recruiting if you're just gonna get them killed? I have the utmost confidence in their abilities. Friends, we must have faith that the men and women we recruit can handle the duties for which we recruit them. Yes! You're damn right he could have, but he's so obsessed with preaching that he's become blind to our actual problems. Look, just... If the Van Noys are still alive, get them out of there. With Sanjar pressing the issue like this, I have a feeling we'll need them.
Sam, uh, I've got a question. Do you use alcohol as a cleaning agent? I've heard some folk do that. Alcohol-based cleaners can compare to Samson Ray Acid Spray Premium Nozzle Attachment. Installation available for as low as nine payments of 99.99 bits. Is that a yes or a no? I can never tell with you. Warning. Come on. 
sanitation and maintenance job fulfilled. All germs and contaminants have been neutralized. Please take a moment to complete this customer survey. Did you find Sam's cleaning today to be a satisfying Clean cycle back to industrial stain. Fight dirty. Clean up the competition. coming real close to eating me. I'm Lenora. You, uh... What are you doing out here? Not that I'm complaining, but I figure only marauders and animals roam around. 
Well, shit, today's your lucky day, I guess. Thanks for the help. I've got to pick up some things from the bay, but I run a little stand near Fallbrook. Next time you need supplies, stop by, you hear? its rightful place for more than 70 years. complete.
detected! Your classification. Flawlessly finished! Hey, it's the twins! Surprised you two needed backup. Nioka, you're a sight right now, I'll tell you what. We are up a creek. I bet. You really come this far north for a printing press? Yeah, I know, I know, but that's the mission. Don't suppose y'all are busy right now. I appreciate the sentiment, stranger. But we can't leave without patching these guys up. Acker here is bleeding out and Jensen can't see straight. Our medic has got our trauma kit, but we got separated. We ain't seen him in a couple of hours. Yeah, on account of giving him the order. He's searching the old settlement to the north of the press.
Incoming! Any luck out there? Oh, fuck. Well, that's better than nothing. Thanks. We'll head out as soon as we're patched up. of a job. Detecting unclean sulfuric steeped presence within the immediate vicinity.
Again. Live on Monarch a few years and get under your skin. Blood, breathe, taste it in everything you eat. Replacement of faulty parts. Recommended. If you'll just listen. No, no more listening. No more preaching. We are losing people left and right. We need to act. Enough, Zora. I'm not putting the torch to innocent people. Do you want to bring the board's cruisers and gunships down on us? Captain, apologies, but our situation grows dire. Our people talk of foolish endeavors. What news do you bring? They are armed all the same. All they need is a good reason, and war is one such reason. Excellent. Did you find the Vanois? Lucky indeed. Thank you. We're one step closer to bringing the truth to every man, woman, and child in Halcyon. This plan's brilliance is in its subtlety. For the time being, let us cease our activities on the tower, lest we bring premature attention upon us. I have much to do. Articles to write, sermons to ponder. We live in such an exciting time. Let's talk later. Hey, I need to see to the wounded, but drop by the clinic when you can. I want a word. They'll never see us. Hey, Captain. I need your help, and we ought to keep it hush-hush. You know about what happened here, right? The history of Amber Heights? You're talking about the massacre. 
Back when the corpse were pulling out, pirates raided the place and killed the MSI bigwigs living here. Right. Common belief is that the pirates fled to an old relay station that had already been abandoned, but nobody could find them. The station's locked up, but one of my people found an old data cartridge in a nearby rap nest. It's mostly corrupted, but I pulled a couple codes off of it. One is the code to the Amber Heights gate. I don't recognize the other, but it's similar. I bet it opens a door. I know it's a long shot, but if we miss something there, if you can get into that station, maybe we can get some answers. Graham isn't fond of talking about the history here. He had friends who worked here. The massacre hit him pretty hard. You know him. Live and let live and all that. I don't want to burden him right now, especially if this ends up being a dead end. Just a warning. The area is infested with mantisaurs. I'd send some help, but we're, you know, preparing for war. Appreciate it. Here's the code. If it works, bring back anything you find. Supplies are best, but information's good too. If someone was behind the Amber Heights massacre, it'd give a lot of people around here some closure to find out who and string them up. Good luck. Watch out for the taros. Vacuum pack, full. Emptying sack and replacing filter, now. You ever think about what goes on in a marauder's head? No, they're crazy. But they still manage to feed themselves, dress themselves, work together. That they're on the other side of that wall. I'm sure someone said. Gotta find a new drinking buddy. Hey, what are you doing here? This is our secret alley. Berta already pissed by those crates to market. Listen. That purple tooth twerp had it coming. Not that anyone has proof. And not that it's any of your business. Oh yeah? What are you saying exactly? Wow. Most of the pencil pushers around here cave as soon as you look at them funny. Fine. We're going. This ain't worth it. The 
data on that cartridge was even more damning than I could have hoped. And to have something on UDL of all the corporations. You've given us quite the advantage. Anyway, what can I do for you? But that's terrible. What happened? I'm glad to hear you've dealt with them. They've been causing quite a bit of trouble around town. I've been consumed with other matters of late, but I would have dealt with them. Eventually. Of course I would have. Still, your intervention in the matter is much appreciated. Please consider this payment for your services. Then it's good that I keep such meticulous notes. Ah, so you've heard about our prior... acquaintance. <sighs> I suppose you're right. Graham's always had a way with words. Strange as it may seem, I suspect he'd have quite the corporate career if he weren't so radical. Graham seemed like a reasonable man years ago, and we both agreed that MSI's treatment of its workers was untenable. I thought reforms would be enough. I didn't realize you wanted to abolish the corporate system entirely. I've asked myself the same thing many times. Especially seeing as the legal mechanisms we employed were part of the board's own bylaws. Not intentionally, though that's technically true. For many years, this planet was home to as many corporations as Terra 2. But back then, it was known as Terra 1. Really? I always thought they were refreshingly straightforward names. After all, the whole point of terraforming was to make them Earth-like. Here, though, the results were... mixed. That ain't fair. They didn't leave on account of the hazards. They left on account of their cowardice. The hazards just gave them a reason to put to paper. Sharp as ever, Nyoka. And as the other corporations began to tally their losses, they decided to pull out. That's also what I thought. Ah, oh, we were young and bold then. Not unlike yourself. We saw the chance to improve working hours and conditions, to reform MSI from the ground up. Indeed. Anyway, we learned of a loophole in the corporate bylaws that would allow MSI to claim ownership of the entire planet once the other corporations pulled out, creating the perfect environment for us to enact these new reforms. That's what I thought. But the senior executives laughed in our faces and insisted we'd be relocating to Terra 2 along with everyone else. Yes, some of us stayed behind, and as the most senior executive remaining, I ended up in charge of what was left of MSI. I moved forward with our planned reforms as well as our strategy to assume ownership of the planet. Yet not long after I renamed it Monarch, the other corporations dislodged us from the board and began an official campaign to paint us as lawless savages. I don't think I realized how far they'd stoop. Everything we did was legal and above board. We followed their rules, and yet they still found reasons to declare us outlaws. I do think there's something useful in a governing body like the board. Something that keeps us from anarchy, but I dearly wish it functioned differently. Why wouldn't anyone? They own nearly all the resources and infrastructure in Halcyon. Yeah, that'd go a long way toward rebuilding our homes. To be on the board is to be part of the colonial community, and being cut off means slow strangulation. Indeed, we've got to consider realities, not ideals. If membership on the board can ease our hardships and provide us with opportunities, then that's the path I mean to pursue. Besides, I'm hopeful that additional leverage on our part will allow us a more equitable relationship.
Indeed. I've discovered it's much easier to negotiate from a position of power. And I don't mean to leave MSI or its people at a disadvantage. My hope is to maintain the reforms we've managed here, and who knows? Perhaps once we're restored, we could spread them to other corporations. What can I do for you? of Hiram's home. <laughs> Just kidding. Guy never sets foot outside. Warranty void reason number 548. If the building collapses on Sam while the unit is sanitizing it. Do you hear that? It's the blessed sound of radio silence, which leads me to believe you have sweet, sweet news for me. I may have a secret for you, for the right exchange. Ask me what you will. What? No. Why would I go out of my way to intercept messages from Earth? There's no market for them. No buyer means it's not worth my time. Now, if you wanted me to intercept a certain one, that might be worth it for the right price. Not much, admittedly. Phineas has been in hiding for the past 35 years. He got in touch with Nioka first, who I use as a physical go-between. The rest is history. As far as what's between us, I mean. Outside of that, well, that's a raptodon of another color. I do know this much. There is a sharper side to the good scientist than you'd expect. If allegations are to be believed, the experiments he conducts for the greater good are in fact treasonous and for self-gain. I am not convinced as to the validity of these allegations considering the source. But I am also not unconvinced, either. Luckily for you, I am a veritable font of information. How low you seemingly regard my trade. Be a doll and shoot any marauders you spot on the way down.
Entering quiet mode. You still here? Anything else you need? work.
Who's there? Do you hear that? It's the blessed sound of radio silence, which leads me to believe you have sweet, sweet news for me. Yes, indeed. I am back in business. But before we get down to it, might I ask how you handled the problem? In the end? Does it matter? Job's done. Hmm, is that so? I don't know how. The two are diametrically opposed and impossible to please. But it matters not how you fixed my problem, only that you did. I don't doubt that you are working with Phineas, but my contract specifies I relay any acquired information to the purchaser, and to the purchaser alone. However, to send the data, I will need your assistance in cycling the antenna's receiver so I can input the needed adjustments. You make it sound so scandalous. Phineas has been in hiding for the past 35 years. He got in touch with Nioka first, who I use as a physical go-between. The rest is history. Now you hold on. I do not physically go between anyone but that of my choose. Oh, oh, apologies. You meant, right, yes. I brave the wilderness so you don't have to. Precisely, I really ought to give you a raise. It's simple, truly. I merely need you to waltz outside and throw the lever to cycle the power. I'll key in the numerical adjustments from in here. Terrific. I'll be here, waiting with bated breath. Give a shout if the panel electrocutes you. He told us to leave without flinging insults at our persons. He really does like you, Captain. What in the void blasted hell is that?
Black holes. Did you see that? Look, there's not enough room in this tower for two sarcastic hull heads, so one of us has to knock it off. Right. I reckon we both know who that'll fall to. Oh well, a pity for the crew, but I can't see how it affects me. Hiram? Can you hear me? Did you see that? Architect saved me from swindlers and fools. Sanjar, what are you bloody doing on my channel? Did MSI or did MSI not cease broadcasting? Yes, but... Hiram. Hiram, are you there? Not without a physical contact waiver. Ah, the good captain. The truth brings us together once more. Our salvation has come crashing through the stratosphere. We need only collect its weapons. Are you mad? That's a UDL gunship. You'd probably shoot your own toes off. Par for the course, really. You should do like I did. Get out while you still retain a shred of sanity. We could use the gunship's armaments to defend Stellar Bay, but we need its targeting module. Our message is so close to breaking free of this planet and spreading to the stars. Help us secure that module and we will save our colony. Listen, I don't care a single whit what you do, so long as you leave me out of it. Which means, get off my bored damn channel! I'm more than finished with you lot. Carry on.
Go on ahead, Captain. I'm not keen on ship. even when they're in the best of shape. Readying for standby mode upon command affirmation. Entering mode now. Can you do anything except clean? Sam's new diet soap capsules pack twice the cleaning power and half the calories. Order a 5,000 caps carton for this unit today.
Some crewmen. I definitely won that round. You always seem to, huh? That's because I'm usually right. Next time I work the school. Arriving at Phineas's top secret orbital lab. on the shoulder if I went behind a wall of bulletproof glass. I don't know how you did it, but Hiram Blythe just sent me everything I needed. According to Hiram's message, Minister Clark has ordered a suspicious amount of dimethyl sulfoxide. It's almost as if he's hoarding the colony's remaining supply. Typical elitist, hoarding supplies during a time of scarcity. Once I have those chemicals, we can revive the Hope's colonists and put some decent people in charge. So, good news. You're going to Byzantium and stealing those chemicals. Exciting. Aloysius Clark, Minister of Earth. Virtually every colony requires the presence of a Minister of Earth. Clark is complicit in every one of the board's crimes. Whenever the board issues some new decree, you'll find Clark's signature on the dotted line. If I had time and several blackboards, I could explain the details to you, but to put it briefly, dimethyl sulfoxide is the reason you're alive today. The chemical is absolutely essential to reviving the Hope's colonists. I need you to steal as much as you possibly can. The more, the better. If you don't bring me enough chemicals, I might not be able to save the Hope's colonists. And then nothing will stop the board from destroying this colony. Ah, yes, the details. I'm not about to ask you to rampage through Byzantium trading bullets with the board's agents. We'll have to resort to subterfuge. Carmen Imagawa. She's my contact in Byzantium. Meet her at the docks. She'll have all the necessary intelligence you require. I'm giving you my old nav key to Byzantium. You'll need it to land in the Golden City. Remember, you're looking for dimethyl sulfoxide. Big green bubbling vessel with a warning label. I'll take as much as you can find. 
You can trust her if that's what you're asking. Imagawa is the finest special agent in Byzantium that money can buy. My money, anyway. You're adjusting before you call. Lean into it. Embrace it. Work with it. You're in control of your car ride. Do you mind? I'm meeting someone. I, oh, oh, you mean I'm supposed to be meeting you? Nothing, it's just, I thought you'd be taller. Anyway, let's not get hung up on that. The Phoenix is a wanted man and the board has eyes everywhere in Byzantium. Yeah, you're looking to make contact with Minister... Uh, Magpie, right? I should warn you, it won't be easy. He spends most of his time in his estate, which is heavily guarded. Afraid not. He almost never leaves his home, and his guards never leave him. Can't say I blame him. It's scary out of doors. I mean, can you even count how many times we've been shot at? What work specialists, huh? Our mutual friend is really branching out. I've always been fascinated by birds. If you ever research earth species, there are thousands of them, so colorful and distinct. Here we got 11 flavors of terror rays and not much else. That kind of variety? I mean, gosh, seems almost impossible. The other thing about birds, though, is their environmental indicators. Exactly. I started thinking about everything we see around Halcyon, and all the things we don't see. For starters, 
You rarely come across anyone living in Byzantium who wasn't born here, even though we get ships in all the time. Doesn't that seem strange to you? And then there's the way nothing gets fixed. There used to be a suggestion box around here. People would drop ideas in. Nothing ever came of them, of course. Sure, that part is. That's why they install shredders in those boxes, after all. But one day, the shredder broke. No one came to fix it. And since it wasn't working, we didn't have anywhere to file our complaints. So you can imagine how messy things got. I bet your repair folks couldn't find parts. Back in Edgewater, I'd have to take something apart just to put another thing back together. Might have been the paperwork. Here, you have to append forms to your forms, and law help you if there's a single dash out of place. At first, management put up an out-of-order sign, but that just seemed to worry people, like they were advertising something wasn't working. Why would the Golden City need suggestions for improvement? It's really so people can feel heard. Everyone's got something to complain about, you know? They eventually took the whole suggestion box sign down so that people didn't have any expectations about it. But they never fixed it, never replaced it. Doesn't that seem odd to you? Except that's not how they go. At least that's not how they're supposed to go in Byzantium. The whole episode made me wonder, if they can't fix something as simple as a suggestion box, what else aren't they fixing? After a while, I got connected with our mutual friend and started using my position here to feed him information when I could. That's it, really. Itself. Don't we have repair drones for that kind of thing? This was a repair drone. Shh. Nicely done. A new ship. It doesn't look like any of the corporate freighters. But what would they be doing here? And how did they ever get permission to land? Fancy Creo's energizing oysters. Enjoy six months worth of concentrated caffeine in every dollar. You didn't seem too much like traveling with us before you met that hermit fellow. Yes. I was kind of an ass, wasn't I? I wouldn't say that. You were more of an... Uh... Well, I'm just glad you're not like that anymore. Oh, I'm still an ass. Just someone who knows he is. It's quite amusing, the ridiculous things that go through my head. Just 
This property is off limits. Solicitors, loiterers, and uninvited visitors will be fined to the fullest extent of company policy. This ultimatum brought to you by Universal Defense Logistics. That's funny. The Minister isn't expecting visitors, and you don't much look like one of those couriers from HPS. Sure you are. And what is it you're delivering today? Typical. Why don't you come back when you're ready to actually make a delivery? There's nothing to see here. Move along. You know, that's just the sort of thing folks say when they're trying to hide something. I have no idea what you're talking about, sir. I'm on my legally allotted break. Really, I'm supposed to be here. Oh, um, what are you doing here? Nothing, nothing. Why, uh, does it, does it look like I'm up to something? Laws, I knew it. Uh, you got me. I'm caught, aren't I? I work in the lab at the Ministry of Accuracy and Morale. Some of my sprats went missing, but it's not my fault, okay? Maybe I let them out more often than regulations allow, but they need to stretch their little legs. And so what if I occasionally forgot to latch their cage? Everyone gets a little distracted now and then. They escaped, and before I could coax them back, they'd made their way to the maintenance tunnels. Even if I did dare go down there, they're among all the common sewer sprats and exterminator mechanicals. Really? In that case, take this collection crate. Six of my little ones are down there, but don't worry, you can easily tell them apart from common sewer sprats. They have intelligent eyes, an agreeable yet reserved demeanor, and a fondness for hiding. Also, they're white rather than green. Please, do take care, and do mind the exterminator mechanicals. If the worst should happen to my little darlings, well... I still want their bodies. For science, of course. Well, to maintain things, of course. Like big, humming machine things with gears. And pipes. Water pipes. Air pipes. All sorts of pipes. That's why they connect the city from the Acropolis district to here. Everyone knows sewer sprats carry diseases, and the exterminator mechanicals have been known to fire on larger targets. Why they do that when they're only supposed to attack sprats, I've no idea. But there are rumors. Some people say there are strange things in those tunnels. Assassins, a room full of murderous auto mechanicals, monsters hungry for human flesh, a hidden bureaucratic purgatory where things and people are lost forever. Not that I place any stock in silly rumors, of course. Nicely done.
How are you feeling, Mr. Vicar? After your, uh, hallucinations. Fantastic. But it must be said that the sensation of myself as a separate mind inside a bag of skin was the real hallucination. Uh... There's nothing to see here. Move along. Yeah? Let's see it. Hm. Looks like your papers are in order. All right. Go on through. Nothing exciting ever happens around here. How did you get in here? You! You're not one of my guards. What are you doing here? Oh, my law. Captain! Captain! That's the minister! Mr. Clark! Oh, wow! Minister Clark, what a remarkable honor it is to meet you. If this is about another Aetherwave clip or radio spot, you may kindly fuck off, as the parlance goes. I'm not doing any more. Have I not made myself clear? Slowly and loudly, Aloysius, that's the only way these morons understand anything. I said, you may tell Charles to go fuck himself. Oh, terribly sorry. I thought you were part of Rockwell's PR team. But if you're not... That means you're a dissident? A real live dissident? But what are you doing here? And how did you get in? Drugs, of course. What else? Why did I get my hopes up? Back to idiot speak. I don't have any drugs. You should try a vending machine or a purveyor of curative goods. He's got no idea what we're asking about. Will that be all, then? Oh, dear. I don't think I can say this any more slowly. Unless... Of course, of course! It's Rockwell again. Who else? And I thought he was only holding me here to keep me out of the way. You are a quick study, indeed. I've long suspected Rockwell of transacting business in my name, but this proves it. You've been all alone in this house? Would... would you like me to make you tea? Please, this is important. Whatever it is that brought you here, Rockwell's the one behind it. Whatever Rockwell's doing, He'll be doing it from the HHC headquarters. Your best lead is to look for details in his office. This all feels off, Captain. Like when there's a storm coming, but everything's quiet and still. Believe me, things have been off around here for a very, very long time. A reckoning is most certainly due. Captain, we must investigate Rockwell. An injustice like this cannot go unchecked. 
Indeed, it cannot. I can't overstate the urgency of the matter. Why, this is starting to sound like an issue of Dissident Hunter. Via the Acropolis District, of course. That's where the most important corporate and government facilities are. But only board employees are allowed into the district. There's a heavily guarded checkpoint just down the street. There might be a route through the maintenance tunnels, but I'm afraid I don't know specifics. Most people avoid the area for obvious reasons. When you reach the HHC building, this access card should get you up to the executive suites, where the chairman's office and what used to be my office are. Oh, I haven't been allowed up there in years. I shudder to think what Rockwell's done with the place. A gilded minibar, perhaps? A personal theater? A man has too much money and too little sense. The board's lackeys are none too bright. I simply claimed I'd lost it and hid it somewhere no one would think to look. I merely hid it in a book. No one reads anything longer than a few pages around here. Obviously, the chairman surrounds himself with the cream of Byzantium's elite. There are a few advantages to dealing with imbeciles. Wait! Rockwell has one of the only terminals capable of transmitting to the Earthbound message drone. This is our chance. Please, take this and transmit it from his office. Rockwell hasn't given me any messages from Earth for years. He's desperate to keep me out of contact with the Earth Directorate. But they need to know what's happening here. What isn't on it is the real question. I've gathered meeting minutes, internal messages, sustainability reports, and more, all exposing the corruption and mismanagement plaguing Halcyon. Once the rest of the Earth Directorate sees it, they'll have to send help. But they wouldn't get here for... I don't even know. Shouldn't we do something our own selves? It's worth a try, but the Earth Directorate still needs that message. We must hope for their intervention. Perhaps there is hope after all. And now I entrust it to you. Good luck, and trust no one in the Acropolis District. Thank <laughs> you.